ESOPs, I think, are a terrific way of maximizing tax leverage in a transaction. The way that an ESOP works is very simply is that the seller does not have to pay capital gains on the proceeds of the sale as long as they're reinvested in qualified securities. So if you have a seller who is, who is able uh, not to be able to spend the principal received and to reinvest the principal received, essentially you have tax deferred sales proceeds, which, you know, just simple math, and, and uh, I'm probably not as good at math as the others that are here, but if you're selling your company for $10 million at a uh, capital gains rate of 20%, and I know that that's age, but my numbers are best when I deal with zeros, at the end of it, that would be the equivalent of a $12.5 million purchase price. So you've got $2.5 million of tax leverage on that transaction. On the other side of the deal, the buyer gets a total deduction for the purchase price uh, in, in an ESOP. ESOPs are tax deductible vehicles and when ESOPs pay for companies they are getting a tax deduction on the sale. So you have this great tax leverage which is the buyer that is paying ten million dollars for that company is going to get if I understood our correctly somewhere between a 31 and 39 percent deduction on the transaction, just use 40% as a round number, it costs the buyer $6 million to put a value package that's $12.5 million in place for a seller. That kind of tax leverage is very difficult to ignore in the marketplace. Now, when you, when you do an ESOP transaction, the downside of an ESOP, you wonder why would everybody not take that tax advantage that's in the place. Buyer belts, buys cheap you're able to transition the company to your employees, seller doesn't have to pay taxes on the transactions. Why wouldn't you do that? Two reasons, just real quickly, and I know we're short on time. One, you cannot sell without an appraised value being put in place, okay? The buyer cannot pay less than a pay appraised value for a company, so uh, you know, you are limited in the purchase price that you get, and appraised value may not always be enterprise value. We find when we go to markets, we're often surprised by how much businesses are worth. So you're stuck with an appraised value rather than an enterprise value where it's a market force valuation. Okay, and secondly, ESOPs are expensive. They are regulated, they are expensive each and every annual year, each and every year, annual valuation, annual filings. So I, I don't know if that exactly answered the question about ESOPs, but why ESOP is tax advantages. Why not ESOPs? A lot of complexity, both on finding the value price to be paid and the regulatory aspects.